Well, Brennan and Sarah, this was a case where the woman was able to do some quick and smart thinking. Police say after she was sexually assaulted and robbed, she was able to take a picture of the man which helped police track him down. Who knows what he was thinking? Linda Atkins frequents the trail that extends for miles at Charter Oak Park in Manchester. But after hearing what happened on Wednesday, she's a little more cautious and aware. I used to go, like you said, over the little bridge, partially into the woods. But now if I can't see other people, I'm not going. According to police, a 65 year old woman was walking on the trail shortly after noontime when 30 year old Daquan Clark Blue allegedly threw her to the ground, groped and sexually assaulted her and briefly took her purse and cell phone. Atkins, who is the same age as the woman, says it could have happened to her or anyone else. I'm 65 and it's like, thank God she had the wits about her. I mean, she fought him off and from what I hear, he was a very big man. The arrest warrant states Clark Blue was also punching this woman repeatedly and covered her mouth as she was screaming for help, leaving her with cuts and bruises. The woman was eventually able to get her purse and phone back, and that is when she took a picture of Clark Blue to hand off to police. Community members shocked this crime happened during the daytime. It's pretty bold. I don't know. There's wild people out there. The warrant goes on to say Clark Blue told this woman he would shoot her if she did not stop fighting back. This is the first time I ever heard of anybody being assaulted on this trail, and it's been here for quite a long time. Police were able to track down Clark Blue at a home on Charter Oak Street, not far from the park. During the hearing, his attorney cited mental health concerns and has a daughter he speaks to every day. But he is now facing a list of serious charges, some of which include sexual assault, strangulation, larceny and robbery. And Clark Blue is being held on a $500,000 bond and he is expected to reappear in court later this month. But coming up at 6, the mayor offering words of reassurance to the community. I'm live in Manchester, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.